Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Last night I had dinner with fellow Sources Apprentice member Michael Bunn. Um, Michael and I go back a long way. We've been friends for a long time, long before I became Sources Apprentice. So it was good to meet with him and catch up. And of course I can't go to a different neighborhood without sourcing, right? So I did a little sourcing before dinner and a lot of sourcing after dinner. Actually hit two Myers and a Walmart and I want to show you what I got. So I got quite a big haul last night. Um, what I've done here is I've grouped this stuff into Amazon categories because we talk a lot about diversifying your inventory and how important that is. So I'm going to show you all the different categories that I sourced. First of all, got some baby stuff, a few baby toys here, and these um, breast milk pouch bottles. Now we talk about embarrassing stuff. You know, nobody wants to walk into the store and say, I need bottles for my breast milk. You know, that's, that's kind of embarrassing. So people like to order that stuff online. And that's where we come in because look at these markdowns. Holy cow, 70% down? Yeah, we'll take that. Anyway, uh, got a few toys here. Not a whole lot. Um, well, I guess I did get a lot of these leaps um, because look at that markdown. 90% down to $2, selling for $12. And both those have four-digit ranks in toys. Um, really good ranks. Set, this is a really fun card game that we play at our house. And this is a dice version. Bought for 5 sell for 15 Okay, moving on to pets. I got some pickup bags here. Got some flea and tick drops on 75% or a little better, 80% markdown. I uh, got some flea collars, litter mats. Moving on to household. Got some Myers Natural Laundry Soap. I've done really well with this. Sold this several times. There's several different, um, I don't really want to say flavors, but I guess uh, scents for it. And uh, the markdown here is 50%, but it actually turned out to be more than that because they rang up at like 479 so more profit there. These were really shocked me. These were in Walmart. There was a whole end cap full of different sizes of these Ozark Trail steel tumblers. And the 20 ounce here is ranked just under 6,000 in kitchen. They're selling for five bucks and uh, just flip them on Amazon for $15.95. I bought 20 of them. Um, I don't know why I didn't clean off the end cap. I guess I wanted to leave some for Michael. So Michael, go back to Walmart and get the rest of those. Okay, moving on to Lawn and Garden. These outdoor flags, I do pretty well with these, you know, different designs. Um, people like to put different stuff out in front of their house, even the Christmas designs. You know, I know it's not Christmas now, but people buy Christmas stuff all year round. It'll be Christmas again. So, you know, I uh, didn't get a whole lot of grocery, but I did get some of this um, extra virgin olive oil. Paid uh, $4.39 for this at selling for um, 16 bucks, I believe. Now, the fascinating thing is the rank here was 71000 in grocery, and there were zero sellers. No merchant fulfilled, no um, FBA. So what I do there is I take the ASIN, I copy it into Camel 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 to get an idea of what it sold for in the past, and then I price it on the higher end. Uh, especially with a good rank like 71,000, you know, that's that's pretty good. All right, moving on to health and beauty. Embarrassing stuff. I have bad breath. I smoke too much. I itch. I have psoriasis. You know, this is all embarrassing stuff. Nobody wants to admit this in public. So, you know, we can buy this stuff, especially when we get it on good markdowns and um, flip that on Amazon. That's where people like to do it. Got some conditioner there, filter cartridges, ho-hum, boring, boring. Uh, toothbrush head spin brush is a really good brand name. I've, I've done really well with them. It always sells pretty fast for me. Bought all uh, 12 of these packages at 510 and um, selling those for 15 a piece. Office products, got some envelopes here. Moving on to sports. Got a pull-up assist, got, look at this markdown, 90%. Um, what is this even from your trail cam, your smartphone? Oh, there's a bunch of hunting stuff, okay. Um, iPhone, iPad, I don't even know what that is. I don't care what it is, you know. I don't have to know what it is. I just know that I bought three of them at $4.50, and I listed them for $37 bucks a piece. That's all I need to know. Uh, a bunch of muzzle loader stuff here that was on clearance at Walmart. Better not show that to my son, or he won't let me sell it. A couple of tools. Home improvement, saw there, screwdriver here, batteries. Okay, Walmart had a bunch of electronics on insane clearances. Now look at these markdowns, guys. From 60 to 10, from 98 to 15, from 40 to 5, 70 to 10. Guys, most of this stuff ranks three digits, four digits in electronics. Okay, look at this markdown. Original price, 150, markdown to 20. 
I bought three of those. Yes, thank you very much. With a three-digit rank in electronics. This is the most insane one. Look at this. Original price, $100, marked down to five. Honestly, she had to get the manager on duty to make sure that markdown was right. And the manager on duty went back in the back office, came back out and said, well, it's got the right sticker on it. So I bought this sucker for five bucks. Is that crazy? Okay, so my um, bill last night for all this, $796. Jeff, you're crazy. Why would you spend 800 bucks on stuff? Well, here's why. Because my net payout after cost of goods and all Amazon fees, my net payout, $1,418. Guys, this stuff is not just in my neighborhood. This is where you live. Get out there and find it. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.